Hi everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, we'll talk about Java 8 function interface with lots of examples. So before moving further, let's first understand what is functional interface and lambda expressions. A functional interface is an interface which has only one abstract method and we use lambda expression to implement a functional interfaces. And functional interface is one of the predefined functional interface which is introduced in Java 8. If you, if you want to know more about functional interface and lambda expression then you can visit my previous video tutorials. And in this video we will learn about how to use function interface with lots of examples. So let us see the internal implementation of function interface. So this interface is annotated with at the rate functional interface annotation and this is the generic interface and look at here t is the type of the input to the function and r is the type of the result of the function okay so as we know that function interface is a functional interface it has only one abstract method that is apply okay so apply method accepts a single argument and it returns the result okay and we can use a lambda expression to implement a function interface all right let's understand more about a function interface with an examples so let's create a class and let's name it as function demo and let's quickly create a main method so let's start with very basic so first what we'll do we'll create object of function interface and string is type of the input to the function and integer is result of the function so basically what we are doing here is we are just passing uh, you know string as an input and we are getting a length of the string as a result okay so first we will implement this interface using anonymous class and then we will replace anonymous class with the lambda expression so what we can do here is we can just return the length length here and then we can just print the length of the string so as we know that function interface has apply method so we can just pass string here i am going to pass ramesh so, okay so this will print the length of the string here so let's run the program and here you can see the output the output is six okay so this is the length of the string ramesh and now let's go and let's replace this anonymous class implementation with the lambda expression so as we know that lambda expression is an anonymous function which don't have any name so let's go and let's replace this and provide here the lambda syntax that is arrow so this is the parameter and this is the body of the lambda expression all right even we make this expression shorter so we can remove the type here and we can also remove open and curly braces because this expression contains only one statement so this is a very simple example this example takes string as input and it returns the length of the string as a result all right so let's go ahead and let's create one more example in this example we will give integer as an input and we will check whether the integer is even or odd and we just return the message in a string saying that the integer is even or odd okay for that let me just give an input as integer and the result as string okay and here is the lambda expression syntax so this should take a parameter right so i'm going to call as number all right and here i want to just check whether the number is even or odd number if number divided uh, divided by 2 and the remainder is 0 and then just i'm going to return number number is even something like this okay else what we will do we will just return number is odd okay and here just 
print to the console so let's use apply method here apply and just pass the integer i'm going to pass 10 here so let's go and let's run the program so look at here number 10 is e1 if i pass 11 then it says number 11 is odd okay so this is the example 2 let's quickly create one more example uh, as we know that function interface provides one more method that is and then so we can use this method to change the functions so let us see how to do it so first what we'll do we'll just create the function object here and it it, uh, it accepts string as input and it returns integer as a result so here we basically find the length of the string and we just return the length of the string here so just pass type t and then we just return the length here okay it's pretty simple it returns a length of the string and let's create a one more function here so it gives the input as integer and it returns the integer as a result and let's call it is function 4 so here what we will do i will just multiply number into 2 okay and here i will store the result in some integer here and here i am going to use function 3 i am going to call and then and then i will pass function 4 and then i am going to call apply method and here i will just pass the string ramesh so what this will do is look at here we f we first find the length of the string and then we pass that length to the function 4 and it will multiply the length of the string into 2 and then that result will be again stored in an integer let's go ahead and let's print the integer here pretty simple right we first find the length of the string and then that length will pass to the function 4 and function 4 will again you know uh, use internally apply method and it will just you know multiply the length of the string by 2 and it will return here and that result will be stored in integer so let's go ahead and let's run the program and look at here the length of the string is 6 and 6 into 2 12 the result is 12 okay it's a pretty simple example let's quickly see one more example so this is the example to convert list into map so look at here we have created a list of different programming languages and we have written a separate method that is convert list into map and here we are just iterating over a list and we are putting you know uh, the string as a key and its length as a value all right so basically here we are just passing function as an argument and we are converting list into map all right so look at here this is the lambda expression implementation of function interface and we are passing this lambda expression as a function interface here and we are using function interface provided apply method here okay it means that we are storing key as a string and value as its length okay so let's go and let's run the program and look at here the output so the length of c++ is 3 python 6 java 4 and javascript 10 all right so this is a pretty simple example and here we, we can see here how to pass a function interface as an argument to the function okay i hope you understood the usage of function interface let us take one more example here so look at here this is a user class it has id username password and email field and this is a user detail class it has id username and email okay so we use a function interface here basically we provide user as a input to the function and we will get user detail as a result of the function okay for example we create a list of user objects okay and here you can see here stream api provides a map method and map method accepts a function as an argument okay 
so if you don't know about the stream apis you can visit my previous video tutorials i have created a series on stream apis and you have you can have a hands-on experience on it so this is just an example to demonstrate how we can use a function to you know to produce the result okay so map method accepts a function as an argument so here look at here we are just converting user object into user data object so map map basically takes user as an input and it will produce a user user dto as a result okay so internally function function interface will use apply method and apply method takes user as an input and then this apply method will return user dto object as a result okay and then we'll collect the result and we convert a result into this list and we store that list into a list of dto objects and we just print it out here okay so let's run the program and let us see the output so look at here user object is converted into user dto object okay so user basically has a password field but user dto object don't have password field so look at here the output user dto object don't have any password field so this is how we can use a function interface to take uh, input uh, input to the function and it will produce the result and it will return the uh, it will return the result so this is pretty simple so i hope you understood uh, all about function interface i i hope you found this video tutorial useful thanks for watching i will see you in the next video